Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Audios. In this video, I'll be showing you TaskRabbit review and tutorial for beginners. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just under this video. So let's get started. So if you're looking for a way to start using TaskRabbit here and, and you're wondering, is it good for you? Well, there are a few things here that you may want to know. Now, let's go ahead and discuss first what is TaskRabbit. Now, TaskRabbit here is a platform that allows you to uh, look for work for assembling, mounting, moving, cleaning, outdoor help, and a lot more. So, anything that requires uh, manual labor here that uh, people are uh, able to provide you service for. Now, the great thing about TaskRabbit here, it and not only does allow you to search for certain services but also allow you to provide your own service like for example if you're into carpentry or home repairs here you can provide your service to other people and basically earn through the platform itself now if you're not aware yet the platform is quite profitable so people are earning here like 60 to 70 dollars per hour depending on how they charge for it now obviously the uh, fees here depends on their skill and also how people uh, rate them. So there's a cool rating system here inside TaskRabbit. Now, how do you exactly join the platform itself? So what you need to do is you want to go to TaskRabbit.com and this is their official website. Now, in order for you to become a tasker, you want to go and click on become a tasker at the top right here and you want to go and complete the following information. So first is we want to select your area. So let's go ahead and choose this one. Like for example, we want to uh, basically specify that Boston. We are currently in Boston and let's go ahead and choose our category here. Now there are different categories to choose from like furniture assembly, general mounting, graphic design, IKEA assembly, and a lot more. Like you go and choose which uh, best or which service here best describe what your service is going to be. Now, let's just say we are into graphic design. Let's go and choose this one. It's going to give you how much you are earning on that specific uh, category. Now, obviously, depending on what you get here, like personal assistance uh, around 33, but the more it requires more skill, uh, it's going to charge more, like for this one, $53 uh, per hour. Let's go and choose data entry here. As you can see, we have like $29 per hour. So let's go and click on the get started option here. Now, what you need to do is you need to provide the necessary details here. That includes your email that you, uh, that you want to associate with your account. Also, your first name, your last name, and also your phone number. Like you go and choose your country, re country or region here and also indicate your phone number. Now, you also want to provide your password and also you need to acknowledge that you are a sole uh, proper, uh, proprietor here. Now, once you provide all the details, you go and click on create account. Now, once you've created your account, it's going to ask you to provide certain details like, for example, your experiences and finishing setting up your profile. But what does your profile look like for other people or the people who are looking to hire you? Now, you can see that or view that via the TaskRabbit website itself. So you just log out and you just need to type in what service you are going to uh, are looking for. Like, for example, let's go and choose cleaning here. Let's go and search for services for cleaning. Now, you just go and choose the task location and uh, the address for it and the task options. Now, you could go and specify your task options here. Let's go and click on continue and also specifies the details of your task. Now, you could go and specify further, explain what you need. But once you provide all the details, you could go and click on the C taskers and prices. Now, as you can see, these are the people that you could hire within the platform itself. Now, like what I said before, there are fees depending on how uh, they are rated. Like, for example, this user is rated five stars. That's why they can charge this specific amount here. So the more skilled or the more you like what you're doing here, the more likely people will also like your service. Now, you can also view how they can help here and also filter out people that you want to uh have here like for example the time of day like if you want to serve the service around morning afternoon or evening they could also choose uh if you're flexible here now you could also specify your filter out the prices here now if you you could go and minimize this one like for example you all have we only have a budget around like 10 to 50 dollars and we'll filter out the people that is currently uh or charges that in that specific range so yeah also you have the tasker type here if you want to have like elite tasker here as well now, if you want to proceed with specific with it with that specific tasker, you go and just click on the get stuck and continue option here, and it's going to ask you which date that you want to uh, them to start. Now you go and specify this date here or whatever, and you can go and specify the time as well. Now you could go ahead and click on select and continue here, 
and it will now ask you to log in into your account to proceed with the actual booking. Now, when you're setting up your account here for TaskRabbit, it is recommended that you provide any information that relates to your skill and also what what is your proficiency like for example if you're into cleaning what is your specialty here are you good with laundries or any uh, uh specific tasks that you could do that uh, makes you stand out uh above the rest of the taskers here because basically you're marketing yourself within the platform itself so that people would actually hire you so yeah so the form itself allows you to uh, get uh, clients basically and start earning from that. Now you dictate your time here. So if someone actually hires you, you should be able to uh, assign or you get that task if or get that specific job if you want to. And also, if I'm not mistaken here, within TaskRabbit, you also have the option to specify which days you can work and which time you can work. Now, it allows you to filter that as well. That's why there are different filters here. Like if you want to have or if you want to have your job or your task here, perform around the evening, afternoon, or morning. So that's why there are different filters in here because you also dictate what time and what date you are going to work on or you want the job to be performed or worked on. So that's the great thing about TaskRabbit here. You know, uh, you specify which time you work here and you could also work or do jobs that matters to you or what you're actually skilled on. So there are a lot of skills that uh, TaskRabbit here has that you could get or uh, provide service for and you can even hire other people to do work for you just in case you don't have other another time for it. So yeah, obviously, uh, if you're going to ask me, can you make money within TaskRabbit here? Well, yes, you can make money with TaskRabbit here. Just be diligent and just make sure to do your best when you're doing your job. So the more people are trust or are satisfied with your job, the more people would actually book your uh, service, which in turn gives you more income and hopefully that should uh, give you earn for a living. So you could do this either as a sideline or as your full-time job, depending, again, depending on how you want to use uh, TaskRabbit here. And yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.